daily devotionals with open hearts and open minds. First United Methodist Church in Pueblo, Colorado presents Hope and Coffee with Pastor Hugo Venegas. Hi, this is Hugo Venegas. Welcome, welcome to another weekly edition of Hope and Coffee. And uh, this week is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we have been studying Genesis chapter 6 up to chapter 11. We concluded with the faces of hope from Ch Genesis chapter 6 verse uh, uh, to Genesis chapter 11. So what I'm going to do this week is I am going to have us review, beginning this week and the next couple weeks, review the 14 faces of hope that we have been talking about for the last few months. And if you send me an email to pastorhugo at comcast.net, or if you email Morgan, and if you have that list, if you have been writing down those 14 faces of hope, I will send you a gift. I will send you a gift for being a really, 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 really good Bible student. So what, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to review. We're going to review the 14 faces of hope in the next couple weeks. And then after we review the 14 faces of hope, we're going to come back and look at chapter 12 and talk about the lessons of hope from the life of Abraham. Now, what I want you to understand is in Genesis chapter 6, God flooded the earth because there was a lot of violence, there was a lot of evil. People were not executing the plan of God, so he decided to save Noah and his sons and his sons' wives and a family of eight, and he was going to reboot his plan to replenish the earth and with the descendants of of, a, of Noah, there were 70 nations that were started, and the 70 nations were spread out until we reach chapter 11, when they did not want to spread out again, and they wanted to build a tower to themselves, a name from themselves, independent from God. So God shut them down. He confused them. He spread them out with different languages, and now we're moving from chapter 11 into chapter 12, where God is going to reboot his plan again and choose one man, Abraham, who was going to run, be the, be the quarterback of God's plan. And uh, that's what we're going to do. But, but before we get into chapter 12, I want us to go back and review. We're going to review for the next few, couple weeks the 14 faces of hope. So again, so again, if you can email me, pastorhugo at comcast.net, or you can email Morgan at the office, and if you write down those 14 faces, that will let me know if you have been writing down, then I will send you a little gift, all right? It's not going to be a bag of money, but I will send you a little gift to say that I appreciate you being a really good scholar. 14 faces of hope, that's where we're going to end up. Now, last Friday, I waxed a little eloquent. I went almost for 10 minutes. And because of that, I am going to cut us short today so that you can understand that I am really excited. I'm really excited to review the Faces of Hope, but I'm going to cut it short so that I can give you some more time back that I took away from Friday. So God bless you. Uh, get your books out, and we're going to review the 14 faces of hope, and then we come back to Genesis chapter 12 to close out our study by the lessons of faith, of hope, lessons of hope from our father Abraham. This is Hugo Venegas, directly from my office at the First United Methodist Church in Pueblo, Colorado. God bless you. Thank you for joining us for our daily devotional, Hope and Coffee, with Pastor Hugo Venegas. If you enjoyed today's devotion, like or subscribe below. We also welcome you to join our family at First United Methodist Church in Pueblo, Colorado. You can visit our website at firstumcpueblo.org, and we hope you continue to have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow.